Hello everyone, let's look at Peekable. So Peekable works with Peek. If you're not used to using Peek, then like me, you'll wonder what is the reason to use it. And I think the gist of it is that, sorry, I've used ChatGPT here to give me kind of a second opinion, but um, yeah, the TLDR here is that Peek can be used to look ahead when you don't want to actually consume the element. So it allows you to inspect the next element without advancing the iterator. Um, so you could use it to check for under file, for instance. Um, I said, why can't we just use break on none? And then it, it went on to explain uh, breaking on none, common pattern, if you return an option. The approach is typically used when consuming elements. Um, however, in some cases, you need to perform different actions based on upcoming elements without consuming them. Peak provides... A more convenient solution. Using peak allows you to inspect the next element without consuming it, giving you the flexibility to make decisions based on future elements before advancing the iterator. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Um, I like this comment here. Peak lets us see into the future. <laughs> I think if um, you don't take anything away from this video, at least take that because I think that's quite amusing. And this, um, yeah, uh, it's highly relevant. So one uh, thing to note here is that because we're using iter, iter is working, uh, it's not consuming. So if we were using into iter, we, we would have the values here. But because we're using iter, it's taking a reference. Because it's taking a reference, you need to use the ampersand. And then when you use peak, you also need another ampersand. So um, yeah, you could have that. Let's go to Rust Playground with these. I've, all I've done is I've taken this and I've just stripped out most of the rest of the code. So um, I've got the double ampersands there using peak. So it's just advancing the iterator. Uh, or just starting with the first one. So if we do, uh, then we do next. Let's run that. So that's okay. Uh, so then we would need to be checking. We would check for ampersand two. Double ampersand two, even. Yeah, that it, that's it. It's, it's okay with that. Um. Another way of doing that, if you end up with too many ampersands, you can do as ref. I think that'll work. Yeah. So two more than one way to skin a cat, as always. So um, one thing to note is when you, you want to use peak, peak, you need to set it up with peakable first. So that's basically saying... Um, yeah, get your crystal ball ready because we're going to be looking into the future shortly. Uh, right, that's um, kind of the theory and the short example. I'll just show you the other one that I've done. So this, I've, as you, if you watch these videos frequently, you'll know that I've bought the um, Rust in a Month of Lunches book by Dave McLeod, about 600 pages. I'm up to page 184. Um, I'm sure Dave wouldn't mind me just giving him a big up and... Um, Just mentioning his book, even though I'm using the the example here. Um, all I did there was also just used um, expect instead of unwrap. So yeah, you get a result. So all it's doing is it's looking ahead, and then uh, well, if we run this, it's just looking ahead. But this is then it's using next to go on to the next. So you can combine um, you can combine it with next as well. So. That's it for now. I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching. And uh, just remember, Peak allows you to see into the future. So it allows you to look at the next element without actually consuming it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, and all the usual stuff. Thank you.